One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hello, you lovely, beautiful people. I'm Sap PDP Cycling. Today, I'm gonna do some bike review. Today, I have an Orange Clockwork Evo Comp 2021, which is the best model of the Clockwork Evo. Here it is, my new bike for the new year. So let's talk about the price first. So the RRP on Orange website, it is 1600 pound but i got this one for 1450 pretty good deals so it's like 150 pound off not too bad but again you can find like a better value in terms of pricing let's talk about the outlet i got this one from start fitness a friend of mine sam who also um, purchased the clockwork but it is a 29er version so he showed me the website and at the time, I ordered a Kartik BFE. I already paid for it, so I asked them for refund. And then I ordered this one right away. It took six days after I purchased the bike. The bike is delivered by DPD. On Friday, DPD called me for the delivery. So they kind of give you the delivery slot. So they gave me like um, 12 to 1 p.m. And then here we are. The bike is here. First thing first, you guys might want to know about the component, but I can say that you can go to Orange website and you can take a look on the website. All the information is there, but I can tell you that roughly for the drive train and the brake is Shimano. So the drive train is a 12 speed DR, which is pretty nice because they actually use the DR cassette. So it's a 10 to 51. As for the derailleur and for the crankset, although the Shen is not exactly Shimano, it is a KMC if I'm not wrong about it. In terms of shifting, it can be a little bit weird. It's not 100%, I would say so, in comparison to my other bike. As for the brake, it is an MT401. I would say it's a pretty good one. So it's slightly better than the M395. And um, I would say they use the same brake pad if I'm not wrong about it. So it's a pretty good because it's an entry level hydraulic brake pad. So it's very cheap. So you can get like a knockoff version for just five pounds for two pairs, which is very good for, you know, winter bike. All right. For the fork, it is a RockShock Recon. So it's basically a 32 millimeter stanchion and it has a steel wall stanchion. So if you don't like the idea of steel stanchion, you might want to skip this one. And as for the steer tube, according to the specification on the website, it says that both stanchion and steering tube is actually steel. That would be a penalty in terms of weight added because of steel rather than aluminum. And for the rest of the component, handlebar, stem, grip, and it's actually strange, which is orange in-house brand which is not too bad to look at and they're pretty good just one thing that i don't really like which is the saddle post here it seems like this is two pieces thing and you know if you crash quite hard this thing can actually twist and it can actually ruin the saddle post except for the saddle which is the wtb silverado and it has the blue accents go a long way with the color of the frame which is really nice but as you can see here i put the crank bladder stamp one pedal which is not equipped with the bike so i brought it separately for 40 pound all right let's talk about the frame geometry and design the first thing to talk about this bike if you take a look on the website for the table for the geometry it's gonna be a little bit inaccurate in comparison to the real measurement here. For example, for the wheelbase. So you measure from this axle to that axle. In the website, it's 116 centimeter approximately, give or take. But what I can measure right here, it is 117 centimeter, which is a little bit long, but it's not a big deal. I guess the reason because the offset created by the dropout of the um, the fork 
go a little bit further to you know forward that's the reason why that the measurement is a little bit off i mean it's a little bit longer but it's not such a big right. deal what is the kind of big deal here it is the seat tube length which when we measure from the center of the bb to the top of the seat tube it should be very close to the measurement that showed on the table which is 16 inch and what i can measure right here is approximately about 15 inch so it's like one inch loss and why it's such a you know becomes such a deal for me because basically what i'm hoping for is when you got a 16 inch then this top tube may be able to put it above so you can have more room for the water bottle cage there is a problem with the size of the front triangle which is a little bit too small and i don't think i can actually put a conventional bottle cage it got to be the bottle cage that you can put the bottle sideways i know that the engineer i mean the designer you have a very good um, stand over clearance and you sacrifice the the room here so it's a little bit off for small people like me for your information i am 163 centimeters so it's approximately five foot five inch for small people it's gonna be sucks but if you are medium and you go for large or maybe xl fine no problem when we take a look here between the top tube and the chain stay as you can see that is not exactly the same line it's not straight line as what have done in most frames for example yeti arc like most xc bike in the past i would love to see the straight line rather than this kind of angle around here which make it look like a boomerang and i don't like that part about it and you know as you know it's a long low slack and steep so it's got really low bb in general it's 296 millimeter so let's say it the wheelbase is quite long so like i said it's uh, 117 centimeter and 74 degree for the seat angle it's pretty much very modern bike geometry which is this bike geometry is gonna be around here for at least five years if i would say so the geometry from orange here is unsacked orange is kind of traditional with the measurement here so and also most other manufacturers all right for the um first impression with the bike i would say this bike is a little bit difficult to manual because you know it's long and it's low bb the long bike wheelbase and the low bb is contributed to harder to manual the wheel up in the air and you know overall manual is a little bit you know difficult in comparison to bike with high bb and short wheelbase and short reach and this bike the reach is quite long it's even longer than my alpine 6 2017 you get the manual in action it's just keep going because the bike is so stable That's on the other hand for wheelie it's so easy to wheelie because again because of the low bb and the low bike overall so it's like you feel very low cg it's so easy to maintain the balance of the bike because the long wheelbase and the low position is make this bike very less responsive to the pedal force when you give a little bit of spin it takes about maybe one tenth of a second slower to respond that's it so the wheelie is like this bike is the king of wheelie if i can comparison to my other bike i haven't go to the trail with this bike yet but i have tried some off-road riding and so far so good and i hope i can go to the trail and try this bike anytime soon all right i hope you um find this review useful for your information if someone want to buy the orange clockwork evolve 2021 and i hope you enjoyed the review and thanks for watching i see you next time on the trail